Hello everyone! In this video we will talk about enzyme kinetic experiment based on host radish peroxidase enzyme. Host radish peroxidase enzyme catalyzes the oxidation of the chromogenic compound, which in our case, odionacidine, in the presence of hydrogen peroxide. After the complete reaction, we can observe the concentration of the oxidized product via UVV spectrophotometer. In the last step, we will obtain the kinetic parameters of the HRP via michaelis menten kinetic equation. Generally, peroxidases catalyze the oxidation of a wide variety of electron donor substrates by using hydrogen peroxide. The reaction has three steps. In the first step, the enzyme is oxidized by the hydrogen peroxide generating water and compound 1. The compound 1 oxidizes the odeonacidine and turns back to its native form. The concentration of the product can be determined via UAV with spectrophotometer. Here, we also show the oxidized stage of odeonacidine in our case. While doing the experiment, we will follow this table. As you can see, in the table, only the concentration of the substrate changes. While doing the experiment, we will add PBS, odeonacidine, and hydrogen peroxide to each two, and then we will add horseradish peroxidase enzyme at the end. Then we will wait for 5 minutes for each two to let the oxidation reaction be completed. After that, we will add sulfuric acid to stop the reaction in each two. Later, we will measure the absorbance values for all the samples. Here, we use PBS, 5 mm odeonacidine solution, point 0.1 molar horseradish peroxidase solution, 0.1 molar hydrogen peroxide, and 6 molar sulfuric acid solution. We then label each tube with a number. First, we add PBS to each tube with a given value. Next, we will add hydrogen peroxide solution to each tube. Afterwards, we will add odeonacidine to each corresponding tube. Next, we will add horseradish peroxidase enzyme to each tube and wait for 5 minutes. When we add horseradish peroxidase enzyme to the reaction, the oxidation of the substrate occurs. We can observe this by looking at the change in the color from colorless to orange and brownish color. When we add sulfuric acid to stop the reaction, the color turns into pink, which means that the enzyme turns into its native form and substrate stays oxidized. At the next step, we will measure the absorbance of each tube via UVV spectrophotometer. To do so, we first load the cuvettes with blank and the sample. Here we use PBS as blank. The last two tubes are 4 times diluted due to the proper measurement of UVV spectrophotometer. The oxidized product of the odeonacidine gives absorption at 540 nanometers wavelength. Turn on the spectrophotometer and select application and then single wavelength. Then enter the wavelength as 540 nanometers. Insert blank and then press blank. Then read the absorbance of the each tube.
we will record the absorbance of each tube. Then we will use the Lambert B law to determine the concentration of the product in each tube. As Lambert B law says, the absorbance of a specimen is partially correlated with its molar absorption coefficient and concentration. Here, B is defined as the light path or the width of the cuvette, which we can consider as 1 cm. With this equation, we can calculate the concentration of each product in the media. First, we enter the volume of the substrate and absorbance value of each specimen. Then we calculate the substrate concentration by multiplying with 5 and dividing by 1000. Next, we calculate the concentration of the product by using lambert b law. Then we calculate the real concentration of the product by multiplying by 1.5. Next, we calculate the rate by dividing the product concentration by time. Finally, we add a graph showing substrate concentration versus rate. By plotting michaelis menten equation, we cannot obtain Km and Vmax values. Therefore, we linearize the equation obtaining the line weaver burke equation. And we can then calculate the Km and Vmax values by plotting 1 over S versus 1 over V. First, we calculate the 1 over S values and 1 over V values. Then we add the graph showing the formulation of the data. To compare key M and the max values on the graph, we also need to show the line cut in X axis. One over V max value is the intercept and the slope is defined as key M over V max. The V max value can be defined as the rate that the enzyme is fully saturated by the substrate. And the key M value is defined as a concentration of the substrate that is required for the enzyme in the half of the reaction rate. Km value also gives information on affinity to the substrate. However, it is hard to compare Km value with the literature since all the parameters should be identical in both experimental systems, except for the substrate type. In this video, we show horse-reddish peroxidized enzyme kinetics via hydrogen peroxide and odoinicity in a substrate. In the following, we made an enzyme kinetic experiment and measured the product concentration via UV with spectrophotometer. Then we calculated parameters of michaelis menten equation. We obtained Km value as 0.19 millimolar and Vmax value as 0.062 millimolar per minute. In line with the data, we conclude that Solstedish peroxidase follows michaelis menten model while catalyzing odoinicidine and hydrogen peroxide.